my name is Leo. Hi, my name is Pat, and my name is Matthew, and we are the DM Mini Thinkers of Mass Destruction team. Today, we'll be showing you how to build towers, what's the best way to build towers, and the fastest. Instant Challenge towers are tall structures that may or may not hold weight that's built on lots of different surfaces. To be successful, you will have to practice connecting materials and try different variations. Watch this video all the way through, then rewind and try some examples yourself. A list of materials can be found at the end of the video. Characteristics of tower bases. Number one, your tower base should be very sturdy. Number two, the widest parts of the structure should be at the bottom. Number three, heavier materials should be near the base. Use lighter materials on the t near the top of the structure. Here are some examples. So here I have the two cups with two mailing labels to stick them together like that and this i have two three index card with six paper clips with a pencil and here i have three pencils with a rubber band strapped on top some of the surprising bases are a piece of, a roll of piece of paper because it can hold up a bunch of weight surprisingly roll it up there have paper mailing labels it can hold a lot of weight. We can and a soft wall. But if you're hanging a towel on an uneven surface, I suggest you use a tripod. Challenge variations that you often see in tower ICs. If they give you a height limit, you should build your tower all the way up to the height limit and not exceeding it. For your extra time, you should make your base more sturdier so it doesn't fall over. So what if they tell you you have to build it on an uneven surface? Just like that, it can't stay. So what I did for that was I used a pencil tripod to put on here, but that still wouldn't stay. But the good thing with these tripods are that you can adjust their angle so that you can make it stay. Okay, so now you can put this ball up here, and then it'll stay. And what if they tell you that you have to hold weight? Well, what I would do is to put the heavier stuff on closer to the bottom. But what if they tell you that the weight thing has to go on the top? Well, my best tip is for you to do this. So the lighter ones, like this ping pong ball, you put it more to the top. Because it's lighter, so it, so it has less chance of falling off. And the heavier ones, you put it closer. You put it on a lower but stabler structure. But what if they didn't tell you where? Well, if they didn't tell you where, then the best thing to do is to put them near the bottom. Other amazing things to think about are how can you make a base by only using a little bit of supplies? For example, this one. I only use three sheets of paper, three paper clips, and a few little pieces of mailing label or tape. What you do is you get a regular sheet of paper, like this one, and you roll it up. Like this. Once you have your sheets rolled up, like these two that I have, you can start assembly. Grab one paper clip at a time, bend the little part out, and fold it just enough so that the two little tips at the bottom are crossing. After, grab your paper, two, and slide it in. Soon you'll notice that they're connected. Do this a lot until you have three paper tubes connected to each other. Once you have that, you made a tripod. If you can't attach it to the table, you can attach it to another piece of paper that you can then put on the table, and it's just like the table. Adding height to your tower by combining materials. After you have completed your tower base, make it taller by adding materials. So here I have the cup to cup base I made earlier. Then I put this index card here and with my tri with my pencil tripod 
I put it up here and added some more straws to make it taller. Or you can make this. So here's four straws poking through the top cup and the four straws attached to the bottom cup using a rubber band. You can use, you can poke holes using this paper clip. Sometimes they ask you to make a tower that can be easily moved around, just like this one. But if you need to make a tower that can go away, you need to make two paper cylinders with mailing labels or tape. And then what you do is you get a regular piece of paper like this one and you fold it. Then once you have that fold, you flip it to the other side and fold until it's just the same length. This is the one that I made earlier, like this. If you notice, when I put this here like this, it can hold a lot of weight, just like so. It holds something very heavy with something very light, or it can just hold something very light. This is the best way that I recommend how to make a tower that can hold weight or a bridge. If you are making a tower that can bounce things all on top of each other, you can make it right here or it's near to the bridge. Let's make it